What is up, YouTube? Russ Navarro here, Radical Custom Garage. Uh, quick video on uh, unboxing some parts that I got for the uh, Model A chassis. Um, and I want to apologize to you guys the other day, that video that I had put out, I kind of threw it together and it was kind of crappy or I felt it was crappy. Um, kind of out of breath here. Um, yeah, I didn't get to show you the whole frame, everything I did, um, and things like that. So I'm going to go into detail or uh, show you some of the things I did and we'll walk around the frame a little bit. But first, let's do the unboxing of these parts and I'll tell you a little bit of what, what I'm doing and we'll just go from there. Move you back a little bit. The first box I'd already started to open. Um, and I got this off of uh, eBay. I'm not sure what company company it is. Um, and it's a box frame kit for the Model A. And we'll take it out of the package. And I can show you guys a little bit. Uh, this is for both sides of your frame so you can box it in. Uh, it's a fairly well built kit. It's got all your little tabs here and stuff. And what these do, and I won't take them all out of the the box, and I'm not sure if this is the back or the front. I'll just have to uh, kind of figure it out here. I believe this is the uh, front part. But anyway, um, we'll just have to go back through and kind of try to figure out. Um, it would have been nice if they'd have labeled them. Um, but this is to help me box in the uh, whole back of the frame and stuff. And what I like about this particular kit, if I can find them, a lot of the kits that was out there, you did not get the, what I call the tongue for the front of the uh, Model A. Some of the kits did and some of them didn't. And I know this one's probably out of China, I'm sure. But what I liked about it is, is it had these in the kit for the front of your uh, tongues to box your, the front part of it in. And I'll take you around so, and show you, but that's what these are for, move you around here. But these go up here in this area and you can box this all in too and I think it's going to be it's just going to make it look so much uh, better and you got to have that much most of them they just the kit will just go the length of the side of your uh, frame and this goes all the way up front you know I'm going to have to do some modification here for these to fit but you know you get the idea um, it was just, that was one of the items that I wanted was the front part. Uh, I know a lot of guys put the, the nose piece or the round bar, like the 33s, I believe it was had, but I wanted the whole frame boxed in and I uh, want to try to clean it up. So <clears throat> the next item I got, um, It was, uh, I believe it was $107, and it also come off of eBay. Um, it's good speed is where I, I got it through. Um, it's a cross member, and hopefully I can get this box open. They, the, they package their stuff quite well here. 
Um, it was uh, eighty nine dollars, I think fourteen some dollars for shipping, and then you had your tax added in. So we'll pull it out of the. Good on knife. But what it is, is your front uh, cross member for the front of your Model A frame, and this lowers it uh, like one inch. Uh, and I'll take you up here and show you here in a minute. And where it goes, and I had started on it, and I'll just move you guys up here. Hopefully there will be plenty of light. But I don't know if you can see, I've got a uh, brace in here, and this piece is your radiator support, and it slides in here, which I gotta trim it down. It said some trimming required, and it slides in there, supports your radiator, plus it uh, lowers the vehicle. Um, it's just one of them things that I wanted to do for it. Uh, I kept the old one. I'm going to try to sell it. And I may have this backwards. Maybe like that. But anyway, um, that's just one of the other. Um, and it goes in this area here. Turn it around here. Had it backwards. But yeah, it'll fit down in this groove. I'll have to uh, kind of make it fit and stuff, and we'll just go from there. It's it's cut to tr uh, to fit and everything. And okay, guys, uh, I've got it in there. Um, I'm gonna have to do some more measurements. I think I'm gonna call it quits for the night. Um, I may have to pull it back apart. Um, but that, that gives you an idea what it entails. Uh, the holes here are a little bit off on both sides, um, and I welded it uh, correctly. I've had to sand on this a little bit, grind, uh, to get it to go in there. And as usual, you know, nothing ever goes the way you plan. Uh, but I think overall, it's going to be, you know, really, really nice. Uh, you know, I'm just going to have to do some finesse. And like I said, I'm a little bit tired tonight. So hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, it's the next day. Uh, I want to go over some of the frame last night that I had started on. Uh, I don't think I explained, you know, a lot of things last night. I was a little bit tired. I just got off work and started working on the frame. Um, we'll go into it a little bit this morning, and I'll show you what I'm doing, and, yeah, we'll just go from there. Okay, guys, what I did is I put a piece across here. I don't know if I mentioned that last night. I uh, reinforced it so nothing up front here could move uh, i went ahead and took this piece here cut it out i'm going to save it for you know maybe somebody else or for another project sell it whatever um, this is a lowering one you can get off ebay there are several different companies that have it this one is a one inch drop uh, it does take some finesse to get it in there. You're going to have to grind, weld, take it back out, do the same. I still have a little work on that to do, and that's probably in another video if I don't finish it up. Um, but yeah, get all your measurements from the back back here all the way forward and your side-to-side -side measurements. That way you know where this goes back into place. What I did is I measured off of these, uh, and I don't know if they're the same, and that's why I kind of stopped, but I measured off. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why my phone keeps cutting off, but anyway, uh, I measured off of this point to here, the center of that, 
and then same thing on this side and got my measurements uh, to make sure this is square and I made measured from up there side to side and what I used for reference is the uh, radiator hose holes excuse me um, and I went flush back there um, okay guys hopefully I can get through this I don't know why the phone keeps shutting off but um, that'll give you a rough idea on that and then I've got some box plates that I've got from uh, eBay or off of eBay what I liked about it is is it has these little tabs to help you out um, and I said the other night you know I'll have to figure out all of the places it goes I think these are the rear I think these are the middle of the uh, a frame to box it in towards the back uh, of course them are the front ones and then you have uh, your shorter ones I believe are for the back back here what I'm gonna do is what they call the, the old Z okay guys what I was saying is is right in here I want to Z uh, frame the frame right in here and what they usually do is measure from here four inches cut it off um, and then you take this set it up here and make it like a z um, reinforce that and uh, just go from there i think uh, i'm gonna call it quits i don't know why my phone keeps shutting off it says uh it's full of data and stuff i cleared it all it may be my trash bin i don't know but uh stay tuned more on the rat rod project stay tuned for you know the boxing of the frame uh, i'm going to redo the uh, front cross member uh, make sure everything's right and we'll weld it up um, that has to be right uh, you know it's a safety issue and that so always make sure it's right uh, i was going to make uh, say one other thing um, before you get carried away a boxing in um, i'm going to show you real quick because i just thought of it turn you around here when you got doing this always think ahead and if you think you're going to use your old holes and things uh put a nut on the a bottom side or whatever and you know kind of ream these out and i'll go into that a little bit more um there's a certain area i'm thinking about putting the battery um once i box the frame in i'm thinking about having a screw hole there to where i can attach my battery and stuff you got to think ahead on this stuff so um you know don't get too carried away um when, when you're doing it uh think it out um that was one thing that i almost forgot and i thought i'd mention it to you guys when you're boxing the frame in think ahead maybe where your battery is going to be where you know something uh, a ground for the you know the frame that's mainly what i'm thinking of uh, a frame ground where um, I only have a short distance to go or there will be a couple spots where I can put a ground. Uh, just think ahead when you're doing it. Don't get in a hurry. That's the uh, whole thing. Uh, my arm's getting tired. Uh, that That's the whole thing there is, you know, you don't get in a hurry and, you know, I'm the world's worst to say that, but when you're doing project like this, um, just think ahead, uh, you know, lay your pieces out um, with the, this stuff that you buy off of eBay and that. Make sure you use acetone or some kind of cleaner. Clean your metal really good before you start. Uh, chamfer, if you can, chamfer the sides, you know. Just slow down, don't get in a hurry, and, um, you know, just make it a fun project. Uh, I really like to have my garage back to put my car in, um, but I, I really can't hurry this project. So I bought me a uh, tarp. I'm going to tarp the car for now. Um, when it does get colder, I'm going to try to get it back in here and find another spot or clean a spot over here where all my junk is. But y'all yeah, don't care about that. Um, but yeah, and like, share, comment, subscribe. 
um, hit that like or dislike button. I don't care what. Um, I had one person uh, like the video and I had 130 some hits on uh, the one before last. And, you know, uh, the more you guys comment, dislike, whatever, it helps my me out. It helps the, uh, the channel. And, um, yeah, just once again, like, share, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. And have it a blessed week. Uh, what's left of it? I believe it's Wednesday. And we will see you in the next video. God bless and have a blessed week.